So you're not happy with how your career is going? You seem to be working all the time. Gosh, well, I never viewed it as a career, only as work. And what's wrong with that? I mean, any other job, hard work is something to behold. But with film performance, you're making too many movies, Nick. You're working too hard, Nick. The audience needs to miss you, Nick. Ah, uh, hello. I pay my bills. It's my job. I feed my family. That's what I do. Uh, I think I told the janitor, you're cleaning too many toilets. What? Oh, you don't have to do that. You guys can keep talking. Well, I'll just finish with a roll like this. Doesn't come along every day, and now I zipped Addie, it. I zipped it good. How is your dad's anxiety over his career? <laughs> There's that word again, career. Um, I mean, his career is pretty much the only thing we talk about. <laughs> mm -hmm. That or he makes me watch old movies and then discuss them, which is really just him lecturing me for like two hours. Oh, it's, it's conversation. It's conversation. Right. Gather around the piano, hoo-ha! Showtime, folks. Well, I never put alcoholic beverages on the piano. Especially with how real talent is going to appreciate it. Sunrise, 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 And what did you guys talk about? Well, let's see, we did general introductions. Mm -hmm. We talked about whether or not I wanted to suck his dick, and then we moved on to Wi-Fi passwords. Suck what? Oh, not cool, man. Not cool! Okay, Mr. Cage, we both know you've been fairly compensated for spending your time over here. So if Mr. Gutierrez is gonna ask you to go with him to see the cliffs, you're gonna go to him to see the cliffs. And you're gonna love the cliffs. I love it. Hey, you need to tell me what the hell is going on right now or I'm getting my shit. I'm going back to Los Angeles. I don't care about your party. You can have your money back. The general! The general forbade me to see his daughter Matilda, but we defied his orders. And now he wants to end my life. Finito. Adios. Bye bye. Can't you see him? And let's get you out of here alive. Oh, oh God! Oh God, we could have died! I didn't know that was a cliff! We went from up there to here! We could have died! Okay, we'll look at the bright side of this, okay? Uh, we got away. <laughs> Madness. Making movies! <laughs> because, you see, because, a hundred plus years of rich cinema. You can't just limit it to one. It depends upon your mood, the seasons. 
All right, let's do top three. You, you start. It's really hard. It's like you said, 100 plus years of rich cinema. Thank you. Uh, look, look, could you just stop stalling and answer the question? It's been well over 25 minutes. What is your third favorite movie of all time? Paddington 2. What? Uh, Captain of Dr. Caligari, Paddington 2, connect those dots. I mean, I don't want to be a snob, but Paddington 2 is your third favorite movie of all time. I cried through the entire thing. It made me want to be a better man. Oh, please. Your neck fucking... Ow! Cage! And... I mean, I, I knew Doug was a great character. I knew that, but thanks to you and your father for seeing what I brought to the role. What have you got there? Divine inspiration, LSD. Whoa. That's how you spook a bear. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you're right. You're so right. Fuck. Oh. Did you see that? They just looked at no. us. No. Oh, oh no. Okay, but, but, but if you are gonna look, maybe do like a, like a fake laugh. <laughs> Oh, trampolines and trombones. Did I smash your dad's car? Uh, sorry, dude. <laughs> I mean, I, you know, granted, we still need to figure out Act 3, but I'm telling you, Vivian, this could actually work. I mean, it's Bertolt Breck, Somerset Maugham, Evelyn Woe. I mean, it's that level. Okay, I know, I know what you're going to say. Javi has his issues, but my God. He has an unbelievably intuitive sense for story. Are you dying, Dad? Yes. Oh, my he God. Is. Creatively, no, physically, he is in sensational shape. I mean, he would probably outlive us all. I'm gonna tell you something, but please don't freak out. I'm working for the CIA. Hey, hey, I think we made real progress. Even in our script, the characters would need to change, right? Perfect. Shit, I was blinky blinky on that one.
But instead I stayed. Why? Because I love criminal organizations. Because I love you. mobilize the emergency extraction that fast. I wouldn't normally ask you to do this. It's, it's very obvious. See those two creeps over there? They'd be watching us. Right, right. Wait, have they been watching us? I don't know. What is going on? If it was a coincidence, I will look again. No, no! Look, don't make eye contact. That's how you spoke him. No, oh, that's how you spoke a bear, I think. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> These comedy writers, they're always so high on their own supply. We gotta have some plot to drive it forward. start out as a beautiful character piece and then slowly change into a more thrilling action drama. Hollywood blockbuster. I was blinky blinky on that one. Yeah. I think we made real progress. Even in our script, the characters would need to change, right? Open the door. So I don't care about your birthday party. You can have your money back. You can the do it. General! The general forbade me to see his daughter, Matilda. But we defied his orders. 
And now, he wants to end my life. Finito. Adios. Bye bye. I get it. All right, you're making this up. What is this, like a little uh, Stanislavski improv thing where you can stop? Stanislavski, is he part of the resistance? Stop! I am your guest! You'll get your Gabriella rips the bed spread off me this morning. You sent me on a wild goose chase. That is not how you treat a guest! Okay, I'm sorry! But you can't quit acting, you can't! That's not your business. Almost to the edge of the forest, can you hear them? And Matilda, she is waiting at the end of the coast. We have to go now! That is the power of the work you do, Nicolas Cage. That is the power of the characters you play. So in front of everyone that I love most, on behalf of my late father and myself, I want to thank you. Hi there, movie lovers. Debbie here. Do you know what Leonardo DiCaprio, Will Smith, Nicolas Cage and Johnny Depp all have in common? They were all considered for Keanu Reeves' protagonist role of Neo in The Matrix. It's odd to imagine how it could have turned out. Make sure to click below to subscribe on the side for more great content and you can get my t-shirt at the link right below this video.